I'm Bess Beaufort, and I'm going to read from Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut, which I've never read, but uh, a lot of my friends really love Vonnegut, so that's why I chose it. <clears throat> so, chapter one. All this happened, more or less. The war parts, anyway, are pretty much true. One guy I knew really was shot in Dresden for taking a teapot that wasn't his. Another guy I knew really did threaten to have his personal enemies killed by hired gunmen after the war. And so on. I've changed all the names. I really did go back to Dresden with Guggenheim money, God love it, in 1967. It looked a lot like Dayton, Ohio, more open spaces than Dayton has. There must be tons of human bone meal in the ground. I went back there with an old war buddy, Bernard B. O'Hare, and we made friends with a cab driver who took us to the slaughterhouse where we had been locked up at night as prisoners of war. His name was Gerard Mueller. He told us that he was a prisoner of the Americans for a while. I asked, we asked him how it was to live under communism, and he said that it was terrible at first because everyone had to work so hard and because there wasn't much shelter or food or clothing. But things were much better now. He had a pleasant little apartment, and his daughter was getting an excellent education. His mother was incinerated in the Dresden firestorm, so it goes. He sent O'Hare a postcard at Christmas time, and here is what it said. I wish you and your family also, as to your friend, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and I hope that we'll meet again in a world of peace and freedom in the taxicab if the accident will.